The new development has been regarded as a breakthrough in laser technology. The digital laser is an idea that we had a few years ago. It is basically the intersection of two very disparate worlds. The one is digital holography using small LCD screens, the same screens that you would have in your house as televisions, to dynamically change light. And then the other part is the laser word in the digital laser, which is a conventional laser system. And what the digital laser does differently to an ordinary laser is that we take one of the mirrors out of an ordinary laser and replace it with this miniature television set. And by changing the pattern on the television, we can change the properties of the laser. In the conventional laser, the laser beam is shaped inside a box with two mirrors. The curvature of these mirrors determines the size and shape of the beam. Forbes says there's a great significance in the new findings, even though they will not be obvious to the human eye. The average person in society is not going to see the digital laser up front in the way that you would see a new cell phone. I think the digital laser is going to be behind the scenes, making things work faster in communication, more efficient in manufacturing, more precise in medicine, so the person won't notice it. Sandil Nkobo, a PhD candidate in a research unit, was instrumental in learning that they could digitally manipulate a laser beam from inside the laser. Ngobo, who conducted the experiments that were published in the prestigious Nature Communications Journal as part of his thesis, said the discovery is quite an achievement for him and his team. There's a lot of challenges. I mean, a lot of money spent buying different uh, LCD screens to check which one's the correct one. Uh, and also the journey, I mean, uh, lot of work. I mean, like it started in 2010, so it's been a while trying to actually solve one problem from one to another. So actually come to a point where we actually are able to get the laser to work, it's a quite an accomplishment. South African Science Minister Derek Honeycomb said CSIR's digital laser was the latest addition to South Africa's list of firsts, which included the first heart transplant by Dr. Chris Bernard. Local scientists have also pioneered a computerized axial tomography scan, known as the CAT scan. Liao Liang, CCTV.